So our next question is, a concert starts at 2.50 a.m. and ends three hours and 25 minutes later. When does the concert end? So in this question, we are only given the starting time, but we don't know the ending time. We know that all together, it's supposed to be three hours and 25 minutes, but we don't know exactly when did the concert end. So what we can do is we can count up three hours, right? So count up three hours and let's see what time do we get at three hours? Because right now we don't know the timing, exact timing, right? So all the way we start at 11.50. So let's do that. 11.50 is our starting time. 11.50 to 12.50 would give me one hour, right? One hour. 12.50 to 150 would give me two hours. 150 to 250 gives me three hours. I'm going to stop myself and I'm going to look at the question. So we know that the concert ends three hours and 25 minutes later. So right now we know that at 2.50, it is three hours and the concert is going to end in the next 25 minutes, right? So we know exactly at 2.50, now hold up our clock so you can see, so I have a small one this time. So at, so here's my, my small hand is going to be at two and my long hand is going to be at 50 because right now we found out that all the way from 11.50 to 2.50, it's three hours, right? So 11.50 to 2.50. Now we know that in about 10 minutes, it is going to be three o'clock because it's 2.50, then 2.55 and three o'clock. So we need to remember that when we are counting up, because we have 25 more minutes left of the concert, so we are going to, I'm going to go back, I'm going to put my uh, hands where they were before, so at right at 250. And I need to count up 25 more minutes, right? However, I also need to remember that right at when the clock it's 12, when the one minute hand hits 12, it is going to be three o'clock, okay? So before I confuse myself, I am going to do this. I am going to say that out of 25 minutes, so I have 25 minutes left, right? And out of 25 minutes, I am going to add 10 more minutes so I know that it is going to be three o'clock, three something, right? So that means out of 25 minutes, I'm gonna take away 10 minutes because right from 2.40 to three o'clock, it's 10 minutes, right? Five, 10. So 10 minutes and then out of 10 minutes, so I have all together, I need to have 25 minutes. 10 and then so out of 25, I have 10, and then I have 5, so it should be at 3 o'clock. So I have 10 already, then 15, then 20, and then 25. So I divided up my 25 minutes into 10 and 15. This was to help me that I need to change my hour as well, right? Otherwise, what would I do? I may confuse myself and I would say, oh, the concert ended at, let's say, 2.50 and I would keep on counting and I might forget that actually I need to change my hour. So at 10 minutes, so 2.50 and at 10, after 10 minutes, it's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock and then 15 more minutes, which means 5, 10 and 15. So the concert ended at... 
15 pm now if you are already if you already know or if you if you think you will remember to change your time to to change your hour to 3 you can what you can do is when you get to 250 so we know that i have my hands at 250 I can, if I am really good at remembering my time, and I know that once anything goes past, one, once my minute hand goes at 12, my hour changes, okay? Once it hits 12, my hour is going to change, and then I'm going to say, instead of saying 60, 65, 70, that's not how time goes, right? So once my minute and it's 12, I need to remember to change my hour, okay? So all the, so if you're really good at remembering that part, then you don't even need to count the extra 10 minutes, just like I showed you, dividing up my 25 minutes into 10 until I remember that, oh, it's three o'clock, I'm changing my hour. You don't even need to do that, okay? So if you are really good at, if you're getting good at time, then all you would need to do is after 2.50, I am going to count up 25 minutes. So I know that 25, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, right? So imagine, so that means that it ended at 3.15. But imagine if we don't remember to change our hour, then watch this. This is what's going to happen. If we don't remember to change our hour, then we're going to say, oh, the concert ended at 2.15, which doesn't even make sense, right? So remember that when you get to 2.50, and when you pass 12, when, you pa when your minute hand passes 12, you need to remember to change your hour, okay? So my hour hand needs to change. On that note, we are going to end the lesson. I hope these two questions that we did were helpful. So grades three, we are going to move to, hi, we're going to move to exercise 39. And you can find that exercise on page 115 of your textbooks. Okay, so you're going to find it on uh, page 115 and the textbook that I was using. I was looking at page 83, okay? So this is what I was looking at, page 83 in your textbook and your workbooks. In your workbooks, you will be working on exercise 39. It is two pages, is page 115 and 116, okay? And I will see you next time in a different lesson. Bye.